Okay, so Austin Land obviously covers uh, Jane's. I'm sorry, Jane Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> she does that. She has that fetch. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we can wait and like, get together. Jane Seymour, you know. I want to know what do you think the universal pool is for Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Darcy? Why do we love? This material. I think because we're all looking for romance, we're looking for the right, you know, the one, you know, the real love, and we're looking for this sort of subtle, um, heaving bosom romance. You know, <laughs> this 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 wonderful man who who quietly just gets on with taking care of you and, and will always be there for you and, and is also mysterious. And, and of course, I think the costumes and everything, there's just something about that era that because you were so trussed up, you know, you, you couldn't do the things that you do today where everything, you know, everyone's like semi-clad anyway. Yeah. So there was a there was this little distance between you, which makes it really exciting. I know, there was definitely a mystery and there was the unknown and there was having to work and fight for stuff and to to explore things and, and I mean women had nothing they had no power whatsoever it was a much harder situation for them but I think in this day and age people are fascinated by time travel by, by go escapism I've never shot a hunting rifle before now the whole thing with the gun darling is that you have to cock it just hold the barrel and then gently pull the trigger have you ever fired a loaded weapon before? actually I think you might be quite impressed by my Big cock. skills. Ah. <laughs> Just a little closer there. Uh, yeah, I think I get the basics. Ready, ladies? Thanks down range. Load. Beatles. Make ready. And pull. Fly my eye. Um, I think that's the. Oh, I think it's an ultimate escapism from a very, very busy, very connected, full-on life that we have these days. I'd agree um, with that. Mm. Yeah, we've got all the social media. We've yeah. got telephones. I mean, I've got. I love turning my phone off, but I yeah. rarely do it. You know, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> yeah, so many yes. people get in touch with you, and I think there's a, there's a simplicity that's not to be underestimated. There's a beauty in that time that I think we've lost a little bit of. I was just going to say, do you think that we've lost the romance? Uh, we certainly, I think it's harder to find. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's definitely clouded in vines and tweets and <laughs> clubs and five multiple Text people and, and yeah, lots of dating. I and like that. I mean, five multiple a, people. Yes. Well, it's a thing I learned that men do. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I didn't know either. I thought I was the only naive I one on the. I know. I thought um, that it was one on one. <laughs> yes, and I think we all second guess everything these days mm -hmm. a lot more. I think I, I've noticed that my generation certainly questions a lot of things to do with their partner and like, should I be doing this? Is that okay that he did that? And diddly dong. And I think the idea of having opinions from all your friends, and it's, it's great in a way, and in another way it definitely obliterates the idea of that true romance that James is talking about. Mrs. Waddlesbrook, was this fun for you? Oh, oh my gosh. I could, did I look like I was? Yes. Angry when I was <laughs> Too angry? much? Yeah. Yes. I, I, I had to throw the ego out the door and just say, okay, I am going to be playing a an, an over-ringleted lizard. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> an over-the-top woman who is very fake and who is very grandiose and who is very dictatorial and is very, you know, and I, I'm obviously I'm the villain too. So mm -hmm. I, I got to be completely over the top and do everything totally wrong, which was a lot of fun. And the, the other thing that was fun was Jerusha cast my real life sister to be the maid that was behind me, oh, that's you hilarious. know, in, in every scene. And yeah. I, until I saw the movie, I had no idea what my sister was doing, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> which was like hysterical. <laughs> TV guy just named you as one of false uh, stars to watch. Uh, I think you're incredibly hilarious. Oh, do God. you think you're funny? I, need I think to know I've that. got the, no. I watch with horror. Um, I watched Austin Land for the first time on a tiny TV with uh, a lovely agent, and we just were both sort of stunned. I think my eyes watered from pure pain. So I don't. I will laugh at myself. I'm not sure if I find myself funny, <laughs> but um, I certainly love 
doing comedy more than anything. So I hope I do hope other people find me funny. Well, speaking of comedy, I have to ask about uh, it's getting hot in here. The yes. final scene. Talk to me about how much fun that was, and if there was if anybody was awkward, and who had the the best parts. I, I literally oh. felt like we were at school. It felt like a school it was project. So much we fun. were all off in corners of the estate doing like some would be out on the croquet lawn, and then someone else would be in the drawing room, and we'd all be like figuring out little dance moves and like things that could do. It was very like patchwork. I mean, Jerusha doesn't work in the idea of having everything set before you start filming. It's all as you go. Ideas are brought. Halfway through a scene, she'll come up with something mm. and she'll reshoot something. She wants to add something else. And she'll, when she's on we, singles, she'll be like, give me another thing. Do another variation. Give me something else. Yeah. So she's so playful. That this is so true to her doing a, a silly music video. Yeah, you, you, you couldn't actually do anything wrong because the more wrong it was, the more right it was, really. And uh, there's a lot of outtakes there. I think at some point I was making out with Ricky Whittle and, you know, Wattlesbrook completely mm -hmm. lost character. I mean, what Wattlesbrook got completely nuts and I totally got into Did you get his fake thing. beard on your face when you got yeah. it? Like, when, I, when we did our make-out scene, I was like, oh, don't know about this. Oh, Ricky. Yeah, was... And then I had his, like, beard on my face at the end. That. Not the best look in a course in a band. And we all like to dance. We all like to dance. You know, mm -hmm. Kerry Russell's a dancer and I was a dancer. So, but I never actually did hip hop. So I kind of like that. Especially yeah, you got games. down. I went. I got down there. Ricky yeah. was born to do it. I mean, Brett McKenzie. Yes. What better mentor? Right. Yes. Literally a dream come true. Literally. Yes. And I would love to go into that, but I can't because we're being wrapped. Hey. But oh. thank you so much for the time. And thank <laughs> you so much for the fun. Thank I had you. a, you so a much. ball of laughs. Appreciate it. So cool. Thank you. Thank you.